talking to dignitaries. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. And uh, for me, it's a great privilege to represent HP in front of probably the best minds in the country. And individually for me, I I'm really, really thrilled to be here today because you've got to listen to me for the next 15 minutes. You know, you made millions and millions of people to listen for millions of hours in your life. For me, to make you listen to what I'm going to speak is, is an absolute privilege. So without wasting more time, I would straight away get on to what we wanted to say uh, about solutions that Hewlett Packard has for the education segment. Uh, HP actually sells about 9,000 products. I have about 15 minutes to talk about all this, which means I should be talking about 10 products in a second. So I'm not going to do that. So we've selected about top seven solutions that a company like us has got for the schools today. Right? So the first one is probably this is going to be a game changer with the schools and the education market today. Multi-seat. Multi-seat computing is a way where you're going to reduce your cost to one-tenth of what you're spending in building up your fantastic computer labs. How it works is very, very simple. There is, instead of buying 10 PCs, which you would normally do, there is one big, huge PC which comes, and there are 10 terminals which are connected to it. Now, what is the advantages? The typical problems that you face in a school is in terms of managing the softwares which you would have, a constant upgradation is required. Each and every PC consumes 160 watts of power. So you're talking about, if there are 10 PCs, you're consuming 1,600 watts of power, right? Now, plus, there are chances that students would probably fiddle around with each of the computers. You have 10 possible threads to your lab, if your lab only has about 10 computers. ICTE defines a 1 is to 4 ratio. So you're always under challenge to increase that, you know, maintain this ratio of computer labs. So what HP does is very simple, a big box which has a terminal connected with about 10 units. Everybody works on any application that he wants. Your cost of power is reduced to probably as high as 80 percent. Cost of procurement itself is reduced to about 50 percent. Right? Plus, managing it is very, very simple. Now, this also has a lot of software attachments where if a teacher decides to make every student listen to a particular subject, he can actually command it and say, all of the 10 computers got to listen to me, and you pop up whatever you want in your computer. Right? World-class, game-changing solutions from HP. Multiple advantages, as I said, lower TCO is there, and you know works very, very, very well. Uh, we have, you know, big schools in the south, like Chetinad Vidyashram, or multiple engineering institutes who have already implemented these kind of solutions, right? I'm going to go to the second solution which HP has, which, which is making a huge amount of noise in the, in the business world, which is about simplifying technologies. Today, you know, everybody has this gizmos of, you know, computers to palms, to iPads, to tablet PCs, but... You know, where does all this converge? Let's say if you talk an example of school, you want to know how do I print? Simply, what about scores, mark sheets, or assignments? That's what you want to know. HP has got a technology where you can start imagining printing as emailing. Emailing, every student knows, every teacher knows today. If I can make printing by email, then it changes quite a lot of things to you. So what we did is we invented a printer which works on a cloud gets connected to the computer, sorry, to the internet cloud, you can send an email to print some document there. Now, where all can you use it? Now, what students can do is students can directly send the assignment to, a, to let's say, physics teacher's computer. All assignments get collected from there. I don't need to really do anything. For teachers, you can keep sending various, various assignments directly to students' home so that they never miss it. You can decide to send assignments. Or if the student is bunking the class saying, I'm not well, you can just say a get well soon message so that the parent actually picks up and says, no, my son has probably not gone to school today. Right? Choice is yours. You can use it in multiple ways. For guest faculty, which a lot of schools have, a lot of institutes have, every time they come, they want to take a printout. They struggle to get a printer driver. You don't need to do all that. A guest faculty comes, just emails and printout is on. Right? Administration department can send circulars to various classes, various schools, which could be on an emergency basis. It, it works like a fax in that way. We think it's going to be very, very useful to you. I'm not going to get into the product details. Other big innovation that we have is also on the scanning technologies. 
Uh, HP has a huge range of scanning solutions, uh, which basically makes your life much, much easier. We talk about OMRs and OCRs, where a high level of automation, be it in the administ I mean, at the admission level or even in the management level of uh, school happens very well with the OMR solutions. Now I'm going to get into something which is more basic and interesting. Now, school bags. If you look at the picture, which most of you would be able to, can you approximately guess what is the weight of a bag? This particular bag? This comes in ICT or something, 12 kgs, probably a little lesser. It's an image which I picked up from the ICT website. Now, are these students? Are these somebody else? Now, I saw a video where school children run to the school. That's a you know, rule in the school. Do you think a student can run to the school with his bag? No. Right? Now, why is it happening? He's carrying content for the full year every day when you work on terms and semesters. Now, what we are saying is very simple. If you have English, Hindi, science, maths, physics, take all that, make one book. Just take what is required for that particular term. You can digitally print it with the solutions which are available with HP and HP partners. We are actually displaying some samples outside in the small little booth that we have. Consolidate. So I'm going to carry one book, which has for all subject. My weight is reduced probably from 5 kg to a kg. Now students start running. Right? It's a great innovation because of digital printing. Canon can also do it. My friend Punit was here before. Start using these technologies so that you can simplify your customer's life, your customer's, your student's life. Right? Now, that's, that's a big, big innovation. In fact, Chennai, in Chennai, Tamil Nadu government has, actually has given a ruling. The bag weight cannot be more than 15% of the student's weight. Right? Now, how are you going to manage it? Someday it is going to hit us as a law. Before that, you can change. Right? I'll get into something which is more interesting, which is personalized book. Personalized book is a way where you can get the involvement of a kid. I always flunked in Max. There's one way, only one reason. I probably didn't like the teacher who taught Max to me in my class too. I never got that interest back again. But if there is a way I can get my interest back with the students, you can really, really work. I'll give you an example. Now, you have all these kinds of, you know, comic books to textbooks which are available for children. Now, Jungle Book, which I grew up reading in my life, can be personalized. Let's say if your kid's name is Gaurav, I can personalize a book. A Jungle Book would be personalized for Gaurav. It has Gaurav's photo on the top, and Gaurav as a character in the, inside the book. So the story goes like, Gaurav went to the jungle, there he met Bir Balu, and Mowgli became friends. If a kid becomes a character inside a book, his involvement in the subject is going to be very, very high. And that's what his personalized book's all about. Now, personalized books is again enabled by digital printing. And we have solutions with our partners there. Last couple of things, security printing. All of you would have a challenge. I mean, it's better to be secure today than to be uh, shameful tomorrow. That's the proverb which, which comes up in every single educational mark sheets uh, which are being forged with people. Now, Technology has developed uh, very, very big in the last 10 years. Nothing seems to be used in the mark sheets of school students in India. Now, simplest things like invisible ink. When you give a 500 rupee in a petrol pump, what happens? He puts it under a scanner and he says, yes, no. That's the same wing which can be used on the mark sheets. Nobody can forge mark sheets. Simple things like barcode, QR codes, which you see there. All you have to do is, everybody has got a BlackBerry today or an iPhone today. You scan that, it gets connected to your school server, and it gives you the results. You can even implement this in your progress reports. If somebody does a fudgings, all that the parent has to do is scan it with a mobile phone. It can get connected to your school server. Security printing is enabled by us. And last but not the least, uh, on the environment bit, which quite a people touched upon now, uh, we don't inherit the herd from our you know, ancestors, we actually borrow it from our children, right? Now, when I talk about this, paper usage is one of the biggest contributors uh, for an environmental damage. When you use paper, you cut a lot of trees, but there are some necessities which you cannot avoid, right? 33% of the books which are printed in the world is never used and it is destroyed and repulped. That's the statistics says, right? That happens because you print more than what you need today, right? And it has to be thrown out. 
Unfortunately, in the Indian education system, I'm actually a victim of that. I finished my computer science in the year 2002, after Y2K, which somebody was talking about. But in 2002, I was studying basic in Fortran, which was probably taught to people in the 1950s. Because an institute printed probably two lakh copies of the book, and they don't change the syllabus for 11 years. Right? Why do you have to get stuck into that? NCRT today has books prescribed for 11 years, 10 years. Technology changes every year. Now, that is where digital printing can come in handy. Every year you can change the books. Put it in the cloud, student prints wherever you want. NCRT has got into this today. You can download the content of a book from NCRT and print it anywhere. So why do you want to restrict the content? And teaching students to be environment friendly by not printing more than what they need is absolutely essential. I mean, the last part of it, HP is also into the signage business. We can print from a stamp to a building wrap, as we say. The, there is a new invention called latex technology, L-A-T-E-X. This has no volatile organic compounds or no hazardous particles, which means you can print on this your dresses and even your pillow covers. It can literally print on every single type of media which is available. Earlier, if you had to decorate your school for a function, you print it on a vinyl. Right? Vinyl is completely unenvironment friendly. It cannot be recycled. Today, with latex technology, you can print on even cloth, which can be recycled. You can print on PE, polyethylene, which can be recycled. Now, I'll show you some pictures of schools of kindergarten where this design of the school keeps changing every month. Now, they impart education. The theme of that particular month is actually run on the walls, on the tables, on the canteens of the schools. Again, latex technology enables you to do that. I think this is all that I wanted to talk to you. Thank you so much for your time.